Hi, uh, here we are again to talk about Xcode and uh, this star rating thing that'll go in our movie app. Um, I'm going to show an example here of the end result that we're trying to achieve, and then I'm going to go over some notes on how we're going to get here, okay? So imagine that this is a UI label and we want someone to be able to swipe across the label and fill in the stars or swipe this direction and unfill the stars, okay? So you can see as I, as I press on the screen and then drag my finger, the stars fill in as I drag and then, you know, they, they unfill as I go across, okay? So that's our goal, okay? So, so what is happening here? Well, touch events work in this way, okay? Um, you uh, make contact with the screen, okay? So when you, you touch the screen with your finger, and then we get a message called touches began, okay? And um, then as you move your finger across the screen or, or drag it across the screen without breaking contact, you get a touches moved event. And then after that, when you break contact with the screen, you get a um, touches ended event, okay? So let's imagine that we're doing all of our work in touches moved, okay, as you're swiping across the screen, okay? And what we want to do is we want to figure out how far you drag your finger and then use that to determine how many stars we fill in. So let's imagine that we have a, a UI view on the screen, or it could be, you know, it could be any subclass of UI view, right? But let's imagine we've got a UI view, and it's 100 pixels, or uh, 500 pixels across. And then it's 100 pixels tall. That doesn't really matter, but it's really the width that we're concerned with. So it's 100 pixels across. So imagine it, it's this, right? And then imagine we want to divide it into five regions, Okay, so, so imagine these regions are actually kind of imaginary because our view is really the size of this whole box, 500 pixels wide. But as you drag your finger across the screen, your finger will be somewhere in here and it will be within one of these five regions. And each region, since we have five of them and the width of the thing is 500 pixels, then each one of these is 100 pixels, right? Okay, so this is like 100 pixels. 200 pixels, 300, 400, right? So as your finger reaches, you know, 0 to 99, you're in the first region, and then when we get to like 100, 101 to, you know, 200, we're in the second region, and then 201 to 300, we're in the third region, and then, you know, et cetera, right? <clears throat> okay, so, so now we know kind of where you're at because we can ask the location of your finger as you drag it, right? So how do we convert that to a rating? Well, if we take the width of a region and we divide the location of your finger, right? So imagine this arrow is your finger. Right now it's at, at about, you know, 240, right? Because this would be like 250 and 300 over here. So imagine you've dragged across there and we want the computer to calculate how many stars to light up. So what we do is we divide the position, let's imagine this is 250, right, right here, and we divide that by, um, by 100, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to round down, okay? So, so that means that we get 2, okay? So then we're going we're gonna, to, you know, fill in stars 0, 1, and 2. That's actually star this one, this one, and that one, right? And um, since we're rounding down, you can drag all the way to here, you know, all the way almost to 300. Let's imagine it's at, you know, 299. Well, if we divide 299 by 100, we get um, 2.99, but we're going to round that down to 2. So we still light up stars one, 0, 1, and 2, and not number 3. But as soon as we get over 300... Or from 300 and greater, then when we divide by 100, it's going to be 3, you know, when we round down. And then it'll, it'll you know, fill in this star, okay? So that's kind of the math of this, right? Um, so it's not difficult to do. Um, there's a couple, a couple hurdles in Swift because some of the, number, the numbers are not all 
you know, compatible, right? So when we measure um, locations on the screen, the values are always CG float, but then maybe we want to convert that to an integer here. So, you know, we'll have to do a little bit of casting to do that. But essentially, this is the math that we're going to use, okay? We're going to essentially take the position of, of your finger on the screen, divide it by the width of a star. You know, we don't even have to know how big the star is. We just have to know the, the total area and then divide by the number of stars, right? And then we'll round that down, and that will tell us which region we're in, right? So we're going to divide our area up into these imaginary regions, right? Okay? And then use the, the, the X position to kind of determine where we're at. Okay, so anyway, so there's a quick introduction of, of, of how we're going to solve this problem. Okay, thanks for watching.